what's up YouTube uh, today I will be showing you how to check if your items are reusable or they're garbage or they're trash or let's see if they're ready to use again uh, you're gonna need obviously you're gonna need your rotor iron this one happens to be the front the front iron why is the front? Because the where the timing cover goes and the oil pump goes. So this is the front one. You're gonna need a straight edge. Make sure it's flat, make sure it's good, straight edge. You're gonna need a gap filler. Start all the way from one millimeter to like 20 millimeters. The one I have right here is two millimeters. The way you wanna do it, you're gonna grab a straight edge. You're gonna put them across. You're gonna put them across. You're gonna put them in the middle. And check every single angle you can cover. So make sure there's no gap between. We're gonna start sideways, going here to here. So we have it in there. As you can see, there's no light. It's all the way straight. That's how I set it up. And then next you can grab your, your gauge. Let's see if it goes through it. See, it don't even go in. Usually when it's bent or anything, it, sh it should go like all the way in like, like that. Let's see how it goes, that's how it should go. If it's bent, but if it's good in there, so there's no gap, and this is two millimeters, so you're good to go. Good, so that angle is fine. Let's check the next one, let's go all the way across. It's easy to see if, if you go in here, I you can't see no gap. No gap, no gap. The only gap is there is where the stationary gear goes. But yeah, we're good to go. I need to confirm that. Of course, you're gonna grab your gauge. I'm gonna try, stick it in there. Nothing. Nothing. And then this is two millimeters. We're good. So now, Start all the way from the bottom. It's nothing there. Bring it towards you. It's nothing on this side. There's nothing on that side. Come on, dummy. I'll move it more. Oh, you see some gap, some light there. Why? Because it's stationary gear there. But we're good. No, they're good too. This one. Good too. I'm gonna move the uh, straight edge so you can see. I'm gonna tilt it back. You're gonna see some light through it. You see the light right there? That'll be a gap. If it was that bad, that's bad. But see the angle I'm giving it? Now, if I put them straight, the little gap is gonna go away. You see, it closes. So we're good. We're good, we're good. Yeah, this one is pretty straight, it's good. Good to be used again. Okay, now, if this was crooked or it wasn't even, it was like overhead or something, uh, to, if it has like two millimeters, uh, it could be reusable. You're gonna have to resurface, it resurface, the max you can reserve from this one uh, is four to five millimeters. But to be sure, it's going only a uh, let's say four millimeters. I'll look up on all data later. But for now, let's say it's four millimeters. So you can resurface this one down to four millimeters. But of course, after re um, resurfacing this one, you're gonna have to do uh, re-nitrate it. I have a place right here in California. They charge by pound. So it's to do this one. Um, 
they don't do single plates but since i already know the guy pretty cool guy is like it goes by pound on this one this should be maybe close around anything between 35 to 65 dollars uh, only on this one so you have to resurface uh remember only resurface any max you can take off is anything for let's go three uh for sure let's say four millimeters you can resurface take material off and then when you re-nitride the penetration is uh, up to eight millimeters deep from six to eight millimeters deep that's how, how the deepest it goes inside the metal so you can uh, re-harden it again so you do that resurface re-nitride it and it's ready to go another visual inspection tool where you grab your thumb and pass your nail everywhere and then your nail is not supposed to catch up into any groove or anything any deep groups but yeah this uh, front iron is is good it's ready to use again of course you're gonna make do your uh, visual inspection you're gonna make sure it has no cracks that's about it as you can see this one was a six port that's good um let me know if you guys want to see how to how to port this up it, it's not a big port it's just gonna be like a little eyebrow like a little tiny thing uh because on the rx8 uh, due to the way they made it it's not too much it's not a lot to do it's a little eyebrow there and then you know open these ones up on the exhaust on the intake that's about it let's open it up a little bit and then on in here is not that much you can do but yeah it is something it's not a lot but it's something on the next video oh yeah let me know if you guys want to see that how, how to port the irons let me know comment below even if you want to talk shit go ahead and do it uh, next video i will show you how to uh measure the rotor what's the specifications if it's good it's bad for so far this is how you check the irons is the middle plate the back plate or the front plate that's about it stay tuned thanks for watching